All right, guys, I'm back on here. I just wanted to show you guys a, a you know, quick tip. So when I first started printing, I could not get supports off for the life of me. That's another beginner issue. Everybody's scared of supports. You find yourself always staying away from supports. So I'm going to show you guys how to get the supports off easy. They come right off. I am using Prusa Slicer 2.5. So, in my particular program, here's what you will do. You will find your model. Let's see. Uh, let's find the model here. For instance, let's pick this one. Get it on the build plate. Okay, so come over here to supports. Just for reference, I'm going to go to everywhere. Click yes. Now you're going to slice it. Give it just a second here. This was one of the things I was so afraid of when I first started print it. Supports. Didn't know how to do them. Didn't know how to set them up. And damn sure couldn't get them off. So, definitely want to show you guys how to get supports off easy. So this model's slicing right now. And I will show you exactly how to print supports and get them off easy all the slicers you might you may not be using this one but uh, uh, all slicers have it okay so here we are so as you could see all the supports so now what you will do is you will go into print settings you will go to support material click that okay so somewhere in your slicer it will say overhang threshold and first layer density now what you want to do is you want to go down to that first layer density and I change mine to 10% you can do 15 or 20 or a little more. You have to test it and try it. Then you come over to overhang threshold. That's set to 40. You make that 10%. Now you go back to the plater where your model is. Okay, as you see it. Now you slice it again. So just give it a second here. It's slicing. Now look at that. Look at the difference. Big, big, big difference. And they'll pop right off. At the end, uh, once you're done printing, they will come right off. Alright guys, thanks. Uh, like and su subscribe.